go. Game one of yet another top 16 qualifier. We've got plenty of them to go through. And here they are. Dark Blues and Tilde kicking off game one on small battlefield. And every single moment here is scary. Now, let me paint a small picture. Uh, Tilde has lost to many early, uh, many solid Kazias in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, players like uh, XL up in New England, for instance, were able to take sets off of Tilde. But XL played a very, uh, as it's so dubbed, timeout Kazuya, where you're not always looking for the big openers, but just willing to take the hits as they come, utilizing moves like uh, the Flash Tornado, that back tilt, to maintain that damage and not always worry about getting your full combos. While it feels like Dark Blues is in a similar vein, he's much more willing to make the callouts, much more willing to take risks, which can be very dangerous against Tilde, though that is an excellent tech and avoiding the tech chase on Tilde's part as well. Sitting here with that rage drive and going for the Demon Godfist. Oh, that ri while rising move could have potentially spelled stock. Any single one of these moves could potentially spell stock if put in correctly but missing the spiking hitbox of Nair, falling to Fal uh, Falco Phantasm into back air. Tilde doesn't have to worry about Rage Drive anymore for uh, for that stock, but there's still one more for this one, and still a, a very, very angry lad waiting for him when he comes back to stage. Absolutely, and this is where we're going to see, again, those combo situations going. Going to just keep on pressing those buttons so something sticks and getting 61% off of that. But we are seeing a lot of situations where, like, Tilde just kind of gets a lot of these reads. But is that going to end in an up B? Yes, it will. Taking out that second stock. And Tilde needs to be very careful. Again, how we were saying, you need to pick and choose their combos. Tilde can't be throwing out a lot of these tools. Has to be really precise and really, you know, could, like firm with the way that he actually uses these tools. This is the thing about a lot of things about just FD, FGC in general. You need to be having your moves, you need to be pressing your moves with intention. And if you're not pressing your moves with intention, it just destroys a lot of the game plan coming in. But we are going to see that back air take out that second stock, making it still very even at 58%. Very nice. Still getting a really nice combo on, getting 30%, getting that missed air dodge. But still doing a little bit of something, putting on a lot of damage, lapping Tilde in percent, 74% to 72. And this is where we see this advantage coming in. This is exactly where we see Tilde start to take this game because this was all in the hands of Dark Balloons. But Tilde is trying to pull out on the stop just to get this game, getting oh. that fair. And this is where we can see the game take a really slow but surely fire turn into Tilde's favor. Wave Drive is on board. The Flash Tornado and the excellent spacing on the part of Dark Blues let them fire through the infinite seemingly coverage from Tilde, but looking for the air-to-air -air with that up air. An insane move in its own right. Frame four, you get leg intangibility on the upper leg. But on the lower leg, where that back air connected with a clean fastball from Tilde, got into, uh, landed them that back air and got them out of game one, which was looking extremely scary. Let's take a, let's take a gander at that. Hold on. Frame by frame. Shout out to the production here. One, two, three, we, oh. You skipped the frame. Did I skip a frame? Where are we looking at? There it is. Yeah. Ah, close enough. <laughs> the point is, Tilde was just out of range of that up air and able to sneak in the back air afterwards. Absolutely. Taking Dark Blues' risk and turning it into big reward for himself. Something that you have to infinitely manage, but something that is commonly in Kazuya's favor when you can throw out different command inputs like so. The electric extending that combo, the dragon uppercut catching the landing, and multiple electrics to keep the things rolling. Oh, but no finisher quite yet, and uh, Tode was allowed to get something big started because of it. Great tech on both sides, as both of them are still surviving. The Heaven Store closes out the stock from the ledge. Dark Blues, looking good so far. Absolutely, and this is the thing too. We need to see a lot of these really good showstoppers coming in because I don't know if this is going to be a little bit of a constant situation we're seeing on Tilde's end. Just very narrowly losing these games is not something we want to have, but that really nice down air into back air is going to take this game. And I really want to know what Tilde's going to do to be able to get this game on the board for him. Oh, getting the Ferb sec into the jab, into the crouch jab, standing jab, into electric. 
Normally it's just a couple crouch jabs, but hey, you're almost any way to close out the stock, and Kazuya certainly has a plenty of them. Oh, almost dragging him off stage with that heaven store. Oh my God, this is absolutely looking so scary on the part of Tilde. But if Tilde has anything to say about it, it's definitely that he's not going down without a fight. Definitely getting that nice down air into another down air, not comboing off too much, but we have Rage Drive on board, not doing anything, but this is still very scary because you're gonna get the Heaven Door taking that stock, making this a 1-1 one, one game. In, in the blink of an eye, you've gotta wonder just where, just when and how can Kazuya close out the stock, and the answer is everywhere and every how. <laughs> Gets a couple jabs, force off. I, I really want to actually point the the early part here uh, on this uh, on ledge like this we are seeing Kazuya like does goes through Kazuya things and then right here misses some of the misses some of the interaction but the electric to force out of shield of course if this electric lands it closes out the stock but the electric to force out of shield sends in such a particular direction where it forces a, a options it forces a gut reaction from Tilde. Attack or shield. Both of which get eaten by the rage drive. Absolutely. But we're definitely gonna go to this game right now. Game two, we are looking at Town and City putting on a lot of damage right now. I'm not sure how I feel about this counter pick, but it's definitely looking like it's doing something because Tilde is going to the sky and back as a bird does flying in the air. We're seeing 93% on the board with only 9% on Tilde. This is definitely looking a little bit scary because it's exactly where we see a really nice downer into back air from Tilde taking off that first stock again with 9% on the board, doing a little bit of something, trying to get out of here. Not doing too much on this end, but this is still looking very scary. Oh wow. Every moment is scary with Kazuya, but I think I wanna I wanna layer in what you were talking about with the stage a little earlier. Tode basically gambled on the fact that, hey, I can open up this game with a stock on the triplat layout if I play so correctly. The problem, uh, because it, it only converts into FD, uh, FD-like kind of blast zones, uh, FD-like kind of stage layout after a little bit of time. So they took that gamble and it paid off, but you still had to worry about the FD variants of the stage, and that was allowed Dark Blues to easily swing this game back into an even position, and even more so, only getting a win Godfist there, but it's still plenty of damage in the books. Even a potential edge guard will Tilde go out here with a nair going instead with for a back air, but getting the spiky hitbox of the side B and it corn confirming the stock after waiting out the demon wings, landing that big, big down air. Tilde gambling on his own offense and it's working out like a charm on this stage. Absolutely, getting that really nice edge guard coming in on Tilde. That was so good on Tilde's part, using that Falco Phantasm and getting that downer so good and still putting on so much damage, 61% to 78, laughing Tilde in percent. And this is my favorite thing, is the Falco combos that keep on giving. The giving of the giving of the, of the givings that give. Yeah, this is what I really love about this game, and this is where we're gonna see a little bit more damage. Trying to go for that Falco Phantasm, doing something, but it's not doing enough right now because this is where we have the deciding factor of who's gonna win this game. And gonna get that nice freaking, what is it called? Heaven Store. Heaven Store, I'm gonna, is there a difference? So when with the when he's going after uh, above 100%, that's called the Rage Drive. Without it, it's Heaven Store. Oh. So it's just Rage Drive? Yeah, uh, I think it's still it's still technically Heaven Store, but it, to differentiate, yeah, one's Rage Drive, one's Heaven Store. Okay, well that was really nice taking that second stock, yeah. but that I really mean, nice still, up tilt factor. It's yeah. still closed out the stock. You come down there with the with your starter Falco up till is a heck of a house, and it cut down it, it cut down Dark Blues right where they stood. One of the best things that I feel like uh, is so good about how Tilde operates is that they don't, they aren't uh, reckless with their use of up tilt. They are much more looking to confirm into it off of things like back air, off of things like neutral air. And what's so good about that kind of play style is you get to notice just how often Kazuya ends up jumping. Kazuya's aerials are extremely good. We already mentioned the up air a little earlier, but uh, fair as well, insanely strong. And fair, nair, etc. And Tilde is taking advantage of the fact that Dark Blues is jumping a lot to start their offense. And 
Falco's air com air to airs are so unbelievably good. Absolutely, but speaking of being very good, this is a really good lead coming in from Tilde with 41% already on the board and still not taking too much. And this is really scary for, you know, Dark Blues because Dark Blues needs to do something in order to take this game back. We already saw how scary it can be for you to be on the receiving end of a Kazuya player. But Tilde's making it look like it's not that scary anymore. Not oh, that's getting it. that grab, but gonna get that up B to take out that stock, making this still a very even game because we already know what Kazuya does. But if Tilde has anything to say about it, it's that he wants to do so much more damage to get that nice back air to take that stock. You thought you had a lead? Absolutely not. Nope, Tilde is not letting you have any what of a chance to be able to do something. But that Heaven's Door not doing so much, only doing 21%, and we're still here on the board trying to get something going here. And this is a little, little bit scary right oh, now. Oh, that mix-up was so good from Tode, doing a Falco's full hop, but then fast-falling straight through, letting the lasers pester away. But can the socket close out a great tech on the part of Dark Boost? And instantly, another amazing plat drop aerial, but you're this high up on the platform? It wouldn't have, it wasn't have closed out the stock from ground level, but Dark Blues still has that rage drive for this stock, and there it is. Gets that extra damage boost and access to the mighty kill move that it is, but that's a ton of damage coming out early from Tilde. I think it only takes another 6 or 7% for that rage drive to go away, or a whiff uh, a whiff grab or two. Going to need to make the most of it now, and there it is. Absolutely. Dissipating just as quickly as it came. Yes, this is definitely looking like a very close game right now. And I love the way that Tilde is playing so well around all of these tools and just making it so hard for, you know, Dark Blues to get anything. Maneuvering so well and it's not trying to give Dark Blues a chance to do anything. And this is still very scary right now because Dark Blues can do anything to take this game. And it only requires one button to be pressed, but Tilde is not having any of it taking up that last game with an up smash, sealing that game 3-1. Really nice on Tilde's part, still playing so well, did not want any of it. And this is the great way to end off our nice and fun time that we've had commentating for you lovely people. I really, again, enjoyed a lot of these situations where Tilde, again, with that backer, just maneuvering so well, and that's going to lead to that up smash as I was talking about before. I like the opener here from Tilde, right? Like, he's playing around platforms, and this is generally a pretty good position against Kazuya. You're forcing Kazuya to commit pretty hard with that frame 7 jump squat in order to intercept something like this. Uh, of course, up air is an insane move, but you can get hit by an up air and not die. So. Playing around the platforms, extremely good. But by phantasming being back and forth between them for a little bit, you're mixing up just which direction the, your offense can come from. And just by playing around the idea of crossing up Kazuya, letting him mix up between how many tilts he has and the auto turnaround, kind of crossing wires a little bit, you're delaying Kazuya's potential to open you up off of a single hit and in turn, able to find something like an up smash, able to find something like a back air on just any false instance coming out from, uh, from Dark Blues, who still played it extremely well, played to his win conditions, but at the end of the day, the added movement from Falco and the added movement from Spacey's in general can really give Kazuya fits. Absolutely. Well, again, that was such a really nice set. I really appreciate it being here. Get to talk to you guys because it's so cool. We are going to have to say goodbye to you guys. And I know you're going to sure. miss us because it's so sad. <laughs> you love us. Oh, my God. We're so amazing. I know we are. We are amazing, aren't we? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but I am Jazzy G, Jazzy Jermosin, the Bayonetta right connoisseur. Where you know me. You love me. Make sure you follow me on my Twitter, Jazzy Jermosin, Jazzy with three Zs, and Tell them about him, Ubel. Tell them about you. You can follow me at Ubel, at U-B-L-S-O-U-O -O right there. It's been an amazing DTN thus far. Defend the North 2022 with a slew of games here and a slew of artists as well. Just a fully stocked venue and a fully stocked experience here in Brooklyn, New York. Stay tuned for yet more Top 16 qualifiers. A couple of killer casters coming in your way in Momo and Mataneva as we got to sign off right here. See you soon. Bye. Craig? Craig, you still with me? Yes. Great. What's the equation of the slope? Why